Well, hello again. Um, looks like I didn't work out today, but actually I worked out twice. So I'm all cleaned up now. I had a normal workout, and then afterwards I went out and shoveled several feet of snow. So uh, I'm now cleaned up and decided that it's about time I did my weekly update on CMMI and Agile. So don't get on my case for not working out. Did it two times this week, or today alone, I mean. Anyway, so today's topic is why your prior experience or the people who work for you who have prior experience with CMMI is not as helpful as you think it's going to be. In fact, it may just be, as far as CMMI is concerned, the kiss of death. Let me explain. People who have prior experience with CMMI most likely got that experience in a way that was not the best way to implement CMMI. I meet with executives and people who are developing products and delivering services every day of my work. Every week I'm meeting new people. Time and time again what I'm understanding from what they believe they know is that prior experience with CMMI or software CMM has led them to believe that CMMI is very restrictive and can only be done in a certain way. Many times we hear people complaining that the way they did things before didn't make sense. The way they did things before were counterproductive, that cost them a lot of extra time, that seemed overly restrictive, and that was probably true. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was very true. And they don't know that that's not what CMMI requires. All they know is that maybe that's what they did, and maybe they got a maturity level of some sort, two, three, you name it. But it turns out that that's just one way of doing it, or depending on how you look at it, many different ways of doing it poorly. CMMI does not have to be done so poorly, so restrictively. CMMI is supposed to help you gain insight into what's going on with your process to help you become more aware of the behavior of your process. Not to make you a slave to process or a slave to numbers, but to help you understand what's going on. The process may be imperfect. The numbers may be wrong, but if your behavior and how you respond to the awareness that you gain from getting clarity and transparency into your process benefits you, you're doing it right. So with that, I'll let you go for this week. Good luck, and get in touch with any questions. Talk to you soon.